stick multiplication can of course be made to work with numbers involving zeros in them. In the previous videos I've only shown you multiplication sample calculations that uh, don't have any zeros in them with the exception of the decimal where the leading digit of, uh, is zero but uh, here in this video I'll show you how to make it work with uh, where the zero is in the middle of the number as in 807 like in the middle of the number there is a zero and the problem is there are no zero sticks how do you represent zero sticks once you draw a picture of a stick and it is a one piece of a stick uh, its its value if it stands for 10 then its value or magnitude of what this one stick represents represents has to be kept in mind this stick can be can mean 10 and the other stick can mean 1 10 or 100 and and this stuff the magnitude of this one ness has to be kept in mind and in previous calculations just like in this one the result will be coming from calculating the number of intersecting points that the sticks make so in this case one stick and one stick make an intersection of one but this is where the place value comes in because this is a 10 stick and this is a hundred stick 10 times a hundred is a thousand so this one is in the thousands column and therefore in the hundreds tens and ones columns there will be nothing there so you're gonna have to fill it in with zeros on your own because the sticks are not gonna give you the zeros because there are no zero sticks and if you try to make zero sticks with uh, with uh, dashes or with any other way it's gonna be just more complicated so I'll show you how to make it work for example a fairly straightforward one how about 13 times 20 there's the zero in it All what you do is standard procedure 13 is one stick with a value of 10 and three sticks each with a value of one so here is your 13 instead of 13 sticks I just draw this and it has to be multiplied with 20 and uh, what I do is that two pieces of sticks each with a place value of 10 and for the zero I, I can't draw anything here there is no more no sticks for zero like I said so how this one folds out is you have to keep in mind the place values 10 sticks and 10 sticks here are multiplied together and we have two intersecting points so a number 2 is generated there and its place value is 10 by 10 that's a hundred just leave it there another bunch of intersecting intersection here gives us six points there just write down the six and its place value is because this is 10 sticks and ones sticks it's 10 times 1 is 10 and the six drops into the tens place value and that is it for the ones digits you're gonna have to fill in a zero on your own let's check it on a calculator 13 times 20 equals 260 so this is how it works I'll show you one more with uh, bigger numbers how about a challenge uh, something how about a four digit with a four digit number I'll try to lay it out somewhere here just uh, there so you see what's happening how about 2020 times 1005 how about that one uh, that's not gonna be too many sticks but it's gonna be interesting because uh, okay I'll show you the 1000 and five I want to put down I don't know in this direction 1000 and that stick has a place value of a thousand and five one two three four five and those are the ones in the ones column so as is this could be 15 you know tens and ones this could be a hundred and fifty or this could be anything 
all I have is one stick and five sticks so you have to keep in mind their decimal value in this case it's 1005 the 2020 is gonna go this way there's your 2000 oopsie that's that's a thousand place value we'll fix it with this one there it's place value is a place value is there is a thousand two thousand and twenty will be two more sticks but those will be ten sticks there two thousand and twenty and again this two thousand and twenty it, it cannot be told from 22 or 2.2 or anything else that's also a problem of early counting systems that they don't have like Roman numerals they don't there you know there are X's and L's and everything but there are no zeros in it all right that's a, another story let's do this one first one first intersecting point I want to start here because that's how uh, most of my videos are laid out and it generates two intersecting points it's going to be different from the previous one the numbers will come in columns but you'll see that it's gonna have a couple of twisted bits to it so yeah I write down two but its place value is coming from say a 1000 stick is multiplied with a 1000 stick so it is a million place value for the digit 2 next one I've got here a bunch let me just write up after million I have here a spot for hundred thousand digits and then ten thousand is the next place value and then thousand next one is the hundreds digit the tens and the ones okay let's see if I have a uh, uh, hundred thousand place value anything ten times a thousand that's ten times ten thousand and I've got two spots there those tens and ones, no thousands and ones, no. I guess this is the next one. Ten thousands. So two gets written down in the ten thousand column, and in the hundred thousand column, nothing gets written down because I have no sticks. I gotta fill it in on my own with a zero there. Let's see what's the place value of these bunch. That's ten times one, so those are gonna be tens, and that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Ten pieces in the ten column there. And I have another ten. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Another ten in the thousand sticks by one. So that's going to be a thousand place value. There, I'm going to put ten in that column. And I'm going to have to fill in for the hundreds a zero and for the ones another zero and uh, this is an interesting number it needs regrouping because I can't have more than nine in any of the columns and uh, to do that uh, the ones remain the same the tens in the tens column get regrouped this zero gets written down here and that ten moves over to the next column so it gets written down there same for the thousands that, that one gets added to what's already in there and that gets written down there and the zero carries down and the two carries down so my final answer for this multiplication here is and just see how this this two million thirty thousand one hundred that's the final answer for this one let's check it on a calculator 2020 20 times 1005 equals there it is it checks out it's a good one so work around with zeros take your time practice it did some tricky stuff I hope this video is clear enough on it and don't get lost with your place values write it down and uh, keep your numbers neatly lined up one last thing don't with this one don't try to clump together those ones with these ones don't it's not gonna work okay in the previous videos it did work because the place value of these dots and those dots they just happen to be the same 
but now we have these extra zeros in the numbers and this clumping and making potatoes is not working that way okay so don't do it anymore you have to keep in mind the place value of each little cluster and put it down into their own columns where they belong